So before trying any troubleshooting steps, first of all, check for any outage. Uh, so you can go to this Twitter website. The link is provided in the video description. You can open this link and here you will come to know if there is any kind of uh, issue, uh, like any kind of outage. Here you can see Europe East server are currently at full capacity. Please select the Europe West region if you're experiencing high queue times. So just go to this link and check if there is any kind of official outage you will come to know now the next step is to try different regions in the game so here you can see uh, they informed you that you can select europe west you can even select different region in us so launch the game first now for many users changing the reason has worked so when you launch the game uh, before you play the game you can just click over here and if if you're selecting US Central, you can try US East, you can try US West. Now you can even go for Europe West, Europe East. So you can try different region over here and then check. Now the next step is to restart router. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So just restart your Wi-Fi router and then check. Next step is to uh, for many users, turning on VPN has worked. So you can try this. If you're already using VPN, in that case, you can turn it off. So you can turn it on and turn it off and check. The next step is to restart Steam. Now go to Steam and then click on Exit and then open Steam once again and then verify the game files. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to install files and then click on verify integrity game files. After the verification, you can launch the game. Next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct in your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically. Both are on over here. So if these are off, you can just turn it on. Turn it on and then scroll down and click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you see anything in red color, click on sync now once again. Now you can go to time and language once again, language and region. And over here, select your country. Make sure your country is selected over here. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So for many users, for a vast user, uh, you can go and add an exception to your anti, uh, to your game exe file. Now, if you're not using any kind of third party antivirus, if you're using Windows security, you can do the same in Windows security. So go to the settings and then go to Privacy and security if you have Windows 11 and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, you will have an option update in security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. And then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam Apps folder. Now open the Common folder. Open the ga Game folder. Select this exe file. Click on Open. Again, click on Add an Allowed App. Browse all apps. Open this folder. Binary is Win64. Select this exe file. Now click on Open. Once it is added, now type in Control Panel in Windows Search Box and then click on Control Panel. Click on System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings in the top. Click on allow on the app. Click on browse. And then again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select this exe file. Click on open. Click on add. In my case, it is already in the list of exception. It is already added. Again, click on allow another app. Click on browse and then open this folder. Binary is Win64. Select this exe file. Click on open. And then click on add. In my case, I have already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can click on OK on the bottom and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform power cycle. Now shut down your computer. Now once you shut down your computer, unplug the power cable. In case of desktop, you can press and hold the power button to release the static electricity for a few seconds and then turn off your Wi-Fi router. 
wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router and then restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then it will run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening command prompt as an administrator and then run this command. So copy this. All the commands are provided in the video description. Hit the enter key. Run all the commands one by one. Hit the enter key. Now, once you run all these commands, you have to restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. So restart and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform network reset. Now, before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password because once you perform network reset, it will restart your computer and then you have to connect to your Wi-Fi once again. It will be asking for your password. So just keep in mind that you have to have the password ready. So to perform network reset, you can go to settings and then go to in network and internet and then go to advanced network settings. And over here, you might see this network. Yes, here you can see network reset option. Click on reset now. And then if you're sure, you can click on yes. And during this, your system will restart. And then after system restart, you will connect to your Wi-Fi. It will be asking for your password and then enter the password and connect and then check. Next step is to switch to a different network. So if you have any other network available, so if you have a different network, you can try connecting to different network and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to use Ethernet connection. Now, if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can connect your uh, connect through wired network. You can use the wired network. You can use the Ethernet cable to connect use ethernet connection and then you can launch the game this will give you stable uh, connectivity now the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows setting go to a windows update or update in security then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now so that will be all so you can try this and then check